guys, I'm Dara with Heidi Kids Fit. Today I'm gonna to help you work your lower body and today we're gonna to be using a paper chain. Have you guys ever seen one of these before? This is our Heidi Kids Fit paper chain ABCs of play. And I love this because I have a four year old who is learning their ABCs so it's great to add in some movement because to get her to sit still is hard. But then also I have a first grader who is very confident in his ABCs, but it's also great for him to learn new words and new vocabulary. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna teach you a little bit of vocabulary mixed with a few of our letters from our ABC chain of play. Before we start, I wanna talk about uh, the movements and show you the movements that we're gonna be doing today and then we'll add in the vocabulary. I'll set my little ABC chain of play here down here, but if you build this at home, you can print it off and put it together and the QR code will take you directly to the movements and the, the um, educational word that you can learn more about, all right? The first movement I wanna show you that's on the chain is going to be speed skaters, all right? So speed skaters is gonna be moving from side to side and you're gonna be able to get there quickly, all right? So that's the, that's the purpose of them. So we're gonna hop, watch me first, we're gonna hop all the way over to the left, balance on that left foot, and then switch, okay? Side to side. Okay, now can we do five together? Okay, let me see it. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, second movement is going to be a mountain climber. I love these because it really works on your endurance and it makes me breathe really hard, right? Okay, so that gets our heart beating. So mountain climber, you're gonna be on your hands and your toes and you're gonna pull your right knee up towards your right hand, and then jump and switch, okay? Good, now let's do five together, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, the next movement I wanna show you is gonna be something that's gonna actively recover your body and make your joints feel really good. So that's gonna be an alternating quad stretch. So you can stand right here, we're gonna reach one hand up, and then just switch. Okay, we're making those lower bodies have really good ranges of motion. All right, Woo. okay, and the last movement I wanna show you is going to be a frog jump. I love these because it, it makes me feel like I, I'm like gonna jump up in the sky. I'm using a lot of my strength. So my, my uh, frog jump is gonna be going with my head up, kind of like a squat, right, but a little bit wider because we're gonna drop those hands down and we're gonna explode all the way up, okay? Using the lots of our strength, all right? And then jump up there really fast. Good. Let's do five together, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now that we learned the movements, let's start learning some vocabulary and try to match those movements um, to that vocabulary word, okay? So the first word I wanna go over with you is mobility, all right? Mobility is how free your, your body can move through ranges of motion, and those are your joints. All of your joints can be different, okay? But I want you to think of those movements. Which ones? Was it the speed skaters, mountain climbers, um, alternating quad stretch, or um, your frog jump? Which one would help your mobility for your body, moving those joints? You got it, alternating quad stretch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, 20 seconds of this movement slow, and then we're gonna try to pick up the speed, all right? So go ahead, let's go ahead into that alternating quad stretch. We already learned it, here we go. Right hand up, left leg back, good. Good, almost there. Now you can try to pick it up the pace a little bit. Or if you feel like you wanna get your heart rate up a little bit higher, you could do some butt kickers here that's gonna help that mobility for that same joint that we just used. Good, almost there. Three, two, and break, good job. Okay, so the next vocabulary word I wanna go over with is A for agility, okay? So if you were to go to your paper chain, you could scan that QR code, you get to read the definition. Agility is how quickly your body can move um, forward and backwards, but also switching directions, right? Okay, so I want you to think about which one of our movements helped you switch directions and move 
at, with speed. Okay, was it mountain climbers? No, we know it's not all training quad stretch. Uh, is it frog jumps? No, that was just that one spot. Okay, you're right, it's speed skaters, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 20 seconds slow and 20 seconds fast, okay? So we're jumping out to our right foot, bringing it back through and bringing it here, okay? Keeping it nice and slow, focusing on the movement, being agile, right? Good, there's so many great vocabulary words that you can learn about how your body moves and why you wanna move it, and it's important for us to learn them. Good, now we're gonna go faster. Maybe let that leg trail. Good, get down a little bit lower. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and break, good job. Okay, so we have mobility, M, mobility, A, agility. Now, let's think about it. I'm thinking about this P letter for power. Okay, power is combining your strength and speed in movement, okay? So let's think about the two movements we have left. Is it mountain climbers or frog jumps? Which one do you think you're using more power? You're right, it's the frog jumps, okay? So now we're gonna drop those hands down between the legs. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go slow at first, still doing your speed. Just gather yourself in between. Good, five seconds, and then we're gonna really get to go for it. You can go for speed here, all right? 20 seconds fast, ready, set, go. Jump up, use those powerful legs, you guys. Almost there, three, two, and break, okay. Now the last vocabulary is going to be your heart rate. Put your hands on your heart right now, okay? We know which movement it's gonna be, but heart rate is a really important thing about playing because do you know the harder you play, your heart rate goes up, okay? And sometimes that can feel uncomfortable. But heart rate matches your intensity, and we're gonna talk about that at the end, but heart rate is something really good because your heart is a muscle, and so when we work hard, our heart beats faster and our heart gets stronger. So today's movement for heart rate is going to be the mountain climber, all right? So we're gonna go 20 seconds slow and then we'll go 20 seconds fast. Here we go. Nice and slow. Focus on that movement. Maybe even pay attention to how your heart rate is feeling right now. Good, and then let's pick up the pace. Let's go fast. Good, almost there. And break, okay. So we have those four movements. Now just to get you guys some muscle memory here, okay, we are gonna go through all of those movements two more times, okay? So two rounds, 20 seconds each, to learn those movements and just reiterate those vocabulary words so that they're stuck up there in your brain, all right? So which movement was first? Alternating quad stretch, okay? I got my timer ready. Get set. Here we go, alternating quad stretch. Good, follow along with me, or if you need to go towards a wall, you can hold on to it there. Good, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, the next one we did was agility, speed skaters. Here we go, whatever speed you like, slow or fast, but we're working on changing directions and moving quickly, okay? So explode out of that one, there you go. Almost there, three, two, and break. Okay, now we're going into power, frog jumps. Let's be powerful, guys. Okay, up next we have our mountain climbers. Good, take a break. We're going back into them and we're gonna go through this all one more time. Get ready, here we go, mountain climbers. Good, 
Good, take a break. Okay, we got 20 seconds to rest. I want you to think about in this 20 seconds, um, do you have a favorite movement, all right? Now, I'm gonna have to say I like the speed skaters. It makes me think about winter time, ice skating or rollerblading, okay? Um, it's okay to have a favorite. I'd say my least favorite is the mountain climbers. Those are hard for me, okay? Now, let's go back through one more time. We're gonna start with that alternating quad stretch. Get ready, get set. Here we go, last one, last round, guys. Good job. Almost there, three, two, and break. Good job, we're gonna go right into our speed skaters, side to side. You gotta get those arms out there. Use them, we're switching directionally, directions. We're agile. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna go right into those frog jumps. Get ready, get set. Here we go, down and up. Good, be powerful, we're powerful frogs. We are also frogs that jump in place today. Good job. Last one. Okay, we're gonna move in to that mountain climber. Get ready, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and break. Good job today, guys. Man, you are victorious. You won for you. That's what B in the ABC of chain uh, of chain of play works because you know sometimes um, I think we get set on winning something but as long as you're doing something for yourself you are you are putting victory into your life all right you're making yourselves better and today as you can tell you know we worked on being agile being mobile getting our heart rate up and being powerful and all those things can be um, achieved by doing all these things at home so to end this today, I want you to think about how can you find another movement that would maybe match up with those vocabulary words? Agility, the ability to switch directions, okay? Move quickly, okay? And then there's the heart rate. How can you find another exercise, which all of these work your heart rate. How can you find another uh, movement that helps you with your mobility? Moving that, those different joints. Today we worked on the joints of our hips. Um, with those quads, okay? And then lastly, how can you be more powerful? You can be powerful with the choices that you make every day. I had fun with you guys today. Make sure you go ahead and check out the paper chain of play because there's a lot of more things that we can learn about how to improve at home. See you next time, guys.